spot. But I can remember when we did the Route, uh, route 24 Fourth to Fourth project that you know I had people saying you're never going to get that road built. Well, we kept working on it. So I would just encourage you to keep keep working on that. It's something for safety issues, and uh, I think that's one of the biggest issues there. So I support it fully and uh, just to get something done. Thank you. If I may add to that, not only do I support it, I'm going to continue to work hard for us to keep that voice and that issue in front of the uh, Department of Transportation, in front of the governor. Um, it's more than just the, the 38 stop, stop, stop lights between here and 270. It's about commerce and the fact that we in Northwest Ohio is the one of the one place that you don't have an interstate into the state capital, and that is a shame. And that there's been discussions about it uh, for a long time. I know that there are a number of people that are working on this issue. I continue to hopefully work with them uh, so that we can make sure that it is that this does not die. I'm, I'm under the impression that the, that they're saying now that the, that they're still going to continue on with the study and come up with a solution but we're going to make sure that it is a solution that really takes into account us from Northwest Ohio. Because if you read the report, uh, the report didn't talk to any of us, even though we helped, Team with Hawk helped to fund it. So um, my position is that we're going to work forward to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would just like to uh, echo what uh, my colleagues, uh, Representative Hoops and uh, Hicks Hudson have said. I want to underscore the fact that this is a bipartisan effort uh, between both uh, the Ohio House and uh, our colleagues in the Ohio Senate as well. Uh, I see uh, Brian Dickin uh, out in the audience, and I want to thank Brian uh, for also being a key voice and sharing the concerns with the administration uh, for more than 90 business leaders uh, here in Northwest Ohio. This is not something that the legislature decided to pause. This is something that the administration uh, decided at the time to pause. I have sent a letter, and many of my colleagues up here have also sent letters down to uh, Governor DeWine and his team, uh, not just urging them to come back to the table to finish this project, but demanding that they come back to the table uh, to finish this project. There was a lot of investments, not just by uh, Team Cog and folks here in Northwest Ohio, but there's been a lot of investments into the study, and I don't think that you can make a conclusion before you have a finished study product. So we collectively are demanding that the administration uh, immediately restart uh, this study and make sure that as we are making decisions, we are making those with the most comprehensive data points possible. When you look at investments such as Intel that is happening down in Columbus, there's not just a triple down impact, there's a triple up impact. And that's a triple up impact here in Northwest Ohio. So we need to make sure that we send a clear message that although we are one of the three C's, that Northwest Ohio, uh, we are a uh, big piece of the, the success of our state. And what happens in Northwest Ohio certainly has an impact to the 11.7 million Ohioans that we all collectively represent as your own legislative delegation. So I want to thank Brian and uh, the folks from Team McCog and the Toledo Chamber for also making sure that it's not just the legislature that is remain focused on this, but that we're sending a clear message that this is all of the key stakeholders for Northwest Ohio. So thank you for that. Very good. Thank you all for those responses. We look forward to working with you productively to get into this very important conversation.